on trial in the Solent, the largest craft ever built by Griffin Hoverwork, with a range of 300 miles. Instead of the usual two engines, it has four. Carrying 200 passengers, this is the largest hovercraft built in the UK for 40 years. It's also the eighth hovercraft built in Southampton for South Korea. Inside, its purpose is clear. Rows of seats, but no luggage space. This isn't a ferry, it is for rescuing people. We have the double opening doors at the front and a bow ramp to get passengers on as fast as possible. Um, we have 155 seats and then also space in the aisles for, for more people, so it's, it's mainly about mass evacuation. The last time Britain built hovercraft this big, they were cross-channel car carriers in the 1970s. For more than a decade, they have been stuck in the hovercraft museum at Leon the Solent. They will never move again. On each side of the bow, the new craft has gun mounts. This vessel will work around Incheon Airport in South Korea. It's on an island with a large daily tide and many other islands nearby. It shows the customer that there are large hovercraft being manufactured still to this day. Um, there are customers out there who are very interested in this size of hovercraft but have never seen one because they're, they're few and far between. The Southampton factory has made 180 hovercraft. They're used in 41 countries. Chief pilot Rob Trussler shows us the cockpit. He will spend several weeks in South Korea training the new crew. It's great seeing where these machines actually operate. So from going from the North Pole um, down to South America, running around in the jungle and the rivers there, or going to somewhere like South Korea, you know, you really get to see what they're designed for. This craft has now been handed to the South Koreans, and it's hoped more orders for vessels this size will follow. Paul Clifton, BBC South Today, Woolston.